identifying large and small objects. Hello friends, I am a parrot and I welcome you to this lesson. Come let's see what you will learn in this lesson. Identifying small and large objects. Identifying the smallest and largest object. Today Chotu was taken for a walk by the school to a nearby forest and Chotu has got homework that he has to gather some things and paste it in his notebook. Chotu thought of taking two flowers, two leaves and two bird feathers from the forest. While taking a walk in the forest, Chotu found a lot of fallen flowers under a tree. Chotu picked two flowers from it. Hey, these are very beautiful flowers. I will take two flowers. A small flower and a large flower. After going a little further, Chotu saw fallen leaves from which he picked up two leaves. One big leaf and one small leaf. While walking, he found a tree on which a lot of birds were sitting. Under that tree were a lot of fallen feathers. Chotu thought to lift two feathers from them. I will take one small feather and one big feather. Oh wow! I got flowers, leaves and bird feather. Now I will go home and stick them in my notebook. When Chotu reached home, he took out his copy and brought everything to stick in his notebook. First, I will paste the leaves. Here are the two leaves. We'll put big leaf here and small leaf here. Chotu pasted both the leaves. Now he thought of pasting the flowers. This little flower, let me put it here. And this big flower, here. Now it is the turn of the bird's feathers. Here are the two feathers of the bird. So hey kids, can you tell which one of these feathers is shorter? You thought right kids, this is a small feather. I will paste small feather here and now I will paste this big feather here. Oh wow! All my work is done! Children, you saw how Chotu recognized big and small things? Like this is a small flower and this is a big flower. This is a small leaf and this is a big leaf. This is a small feather and this is a big feather. A new bicycle shop is open in the forest. All animals are very excited. Elephant, monkey and squirrel all three reach to buy bicycles from the shop. Here are the bicycles they bought. Can you tell which bicycle is whose? This is the biggest bicycle. It is for the elephant because it is the largest among those three animals. So kids, can you tell which is the squirrel's bicycle? Yes, you thought right children. The squirrel is the tiniest among those three animals and his bicycle is also the smallest. This means the squirrel will get the smallest bicycle. And this is monkey's bicycle. So kids, the elephant is the biggest among those three friends. So he took the biggest bicycle. And the squirrel is the smallest among them. So he has taken the shortest bicycle. Hey children, that's all for today. In this video we learned identifying small and large objects. Identifying the smallest and largest objects. In the next video, we will see some more examples of identifying small and big objects. That's all for today. Bye-bye friends.